Hello, I welcome you all to this another interesting uh, screencast and the problem reads if a hundred newton force is applied to the handles of uh, the pliers determine the clamping force exerted on the smooth pipe B and the magnitude of the resultant force that one of the members exerts on pin A Right So we have a simple machine which is a pliers and this problem is coming from uh, the engineering mechanics and statics uh, textbook and a uh, hundred newton force is applied to the handles of this simple machine so we have been asked to determine the clamping force exerted on the smooth pipe B and the magnitude of the resultant force that one of the members exits on <coughs> pin A. Right. So what we need to do is uh, to separate this particular structure. That is when we can effectively work on it. Uh, we need to separate it. Uh, we get one piece and then work on one piece. Right. So I'm going to trace on one of these. I'll trace, I'll get the lower one. Let me trace on this. I'm tracing right now. I don't have to do this. Uh, I just want uh, my plot to come out neatly. And then I have a force there like so. And then I have another force there like so. Okay. They are like so. All right. So let me move this so that I get my trace. Okay. So there we go. This is my trace. Let me bring back uh, my pliers. So I'll get this and bring it somewhere here. Okay. So we picked one handle and uh, we have this point here which is uh, this point here is point A. Alright. Uh, this is point A where we also need to find the resultant force. So we have we have this pipe. This pipe is being uh, the forces from the pliers have been exerted on this pipe. Okay. And these forces, they are equal in magnitude uh, and are opposite in direction. So this point is B. This point is B. So this will call this force as B and B and this is B. All right, so at A, we are going to expect two forces. Let's say we have this one that we are calling AY, and then we have this one that we are going to call AX. Right, and if you've seen, we've been told the angle here is 45. This angle here is 45. We need these components later on for B. So we need these components. Let me just wrap this line. We need these components. So we have these components here. So this one is B. And this one we said is 45. B cos 45. Then we'll have another component like so. So horizontal component. This one is B um, sine forty five. Okay, great. So here, there we are. Let me just move this just a little bit in case, like so. This force here, we've been told, is hundred 
this is 100 newtons this is 100 newtons and um, the lever arm is um, from there to there from there to there and um, from there to let me start from somewhere here I'll dot it let's say from there to there let me do it like so from there to there something like this so this distance here which is this one here okay great so let me just prepare my work and then I I dot this one nicely like so okay something like that we can move this a little bit great so this length here is 50 this is 50 millimeters this is 50 millimeters and this one is 250 millimeters great okay so we have everything so what we need to do now is uh, to take moments about point a so that we find b and once we find b um we are going to find a y and a x and later on find the resultant okay and the angle all right so we'll say summation of moments about point a okay this is uh the pin connection that connects the two uh frames for this particular machine simple machine so we have we are applying the summation of moments about point a and then we expect a negative moment from the 100 newtons to 100 by 0 0.5 converting into meters and then we have b b we can take it the way it is it's already perpendicular to that point so we'll say plus uh, b times the lever arm which is a 0 0.05 that's 50 divided by a thousand right equal to zero Therefore, our B is just going to be equal to, grab your calculator, grab your calculator, 100 by 0.25 divided by uh, uh, 0.05. So B is equal to 500 newtons, right? So 100 by 0.25 divided by 0.05, 500. Let's find now the components. So we we'll say summation of forces in the y equal to zero. Going up in our reference. So we have 100 plus a y. Okay, plus p cos 45 equal to zero. And you, you already found what b is. So we can just borrow that B there and feed it there. And once we do so, our AY is just going to be equal to, that's 100 plus 500 cos 45. Uh, we have AY equal to minus 453.55 Newtons. 500 cos 45 plus 100 okay 453.55 negative <coughs> okay and then finally we have summation of forces in the x direction equal to zero going this direction being our reference we have ax uh, minus b sine 45 okay we've already found what b is 
okay b we said is equal to 500 once we plug it in there we have our ax equal to 500 sine 45 this gives us a 3 a 3 a 350 a 350 3.55 newtons so let's replace these values uh, we have a y let me just write a y somewhere here and uh, a y we said is negative so the sign changes here we remove this part here okay let's continue we draw this line so this one the sign changes it will be facing down like this and is equal to uh four five three point five five okay four five three point five five and then a y is in the right direction is equal to is equal to uh three five three point five five all right so the resultant we expect the resultant to be in that direction right the resultant we expect the resultant in that direction so we are going to find the resultant we'll find the resultant we'll draw it later on here uh, so we found what b is you can write it there again b is 500 on the pipe and so is this side okay mm -hmm. that's 500 great so b is 500 like so great so now having done this um let's now find the resultant so we have pin a like so this is a okay and we found that we have this force going down like this we have this force going down like this which is a four uh five three point five five and then we have another one going this direction which is a three five three point five five therefore we expect the resultant to be in this direction which we are going to call f a resultant how can we write it we just write it r a or a r -A. A-R-A, okay, let's call it A-R-A, okay, all right, let's find it, our A-R-A, which is our resultant, is just going to be equal to, using Pythagoras, we'll have uh, A-X squared plus A-Y squared, okay, therefore, our A-R-A is just going to be equal to, um, our x is 353.55 squared plus 453.55 squared okay and therefore the resultant for this gives us 353.55 squared plus 453.55 squared okay so we have a five seventy five point uh, zero seven zero seven newtons. Okay, a five seventy five point zero seven. Okay, let me repeat it three five five three three five three point five five squared plus. Uh, four five three point five five squared okay five seven five point zero seven great so that is the resultant so we need to find the angle we need to find the angle theta let's find the angle uh, the result that is incomplete without finding the angle right the angle is just equal to turn inverse of a y divided by a x which is just equal to we know what a x is so turn inverse 
uh, of a, a, a y is a 453.55 divided by uh, a x 353.55. This therefore gives us so five four five three point five five divided by three three five three point five five. Turn inverse of that it gives us a fifty two a fifty two point zero six degrees. So we have our theta here, which is this one here. We can write it in a blue we have theta which is equal to uh, 52.06 degrees right so theta is equal to 52.06 degrees let's outline the final solutions so we have B equal to 500 we have a y equal to um, 453.55 we have a x equal to 353.55 and then we have the resultant a r okay which is equal to 575.07 and we have the angle okay great and then uh, let's just indicate these values here to just check whether our structure is equilibrating where is my calculator uh, where is my calculator all right so we have 500 uh, sign 45 so this is equal to 353.55 and so is this value here all right 353.55 so in the y direction it is equilibrating 355 and 100 it gives us 453 in the x-axis okay so that is fine Great. I think this is really about it. We found the angle. Let's just confirm the angle there. The result and 575.07 cos 52.06 353.57 and the other side 575.07 sine 52.06 453.53. Okay. It's fine because of just rounding offs. So this is really about it and I hope the video is helpful and if it was, give me a thumbs up, like my video, continue subscribing and liking my channel. Bye bye and I'll see you in my next uh, screencast.